Little Big Planet is a series of 2.5D platformers with an emphasis on level creation, exploration, and community. The first two games by Media Molecule are considered to be absolutely fantastic, but the ones on the PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita are regarded as less so, with blame being pointed towards outsourced development. So when Sony shows off Little Big Planet 3 at E3 without the men and women who created the first two games, what are we mere mortals expected to think? Well, regardless of what we thought, Sumo Digital has proven themselves as more than just a B team by innovating on the Little Big Planet 3 formula while keeping in sync with what had come before. What had come before was a brilliant formula of exploring a story mode to unlock materials while informing the player of the possibilities that the game's creation tools would allow. Here, the game's story revolves around the troubled Newton, who seeks to be the best creator in the entire world, but doesn't want to do the work to get there and seeks the help of evil titans, who have been locked away in a can of Earl Grey tea. Once unleashed, the titans corrupt Newton and set about destroying everything. Sack Thing can't stop the titans alone and must awaken three guardians to assist him or her. These three guardians are major additions to Little Big Planet. They all have their own unique characteristics which provide variety to the platforming and improve the gameplay for those who dislike Sackboy's floaty jumping. There exists Odd Sock, who runs quickly, jumps precisely, and propels off of walls. There is Toggle, who can be really big, slow, and most importantly heavy, but can also be small, quick, and most importantly light. This allows for momentum-based levels and hidden spaces for the thing to squeeze through. Lastly, there is Swoop. He is a bird. He can fly. He can swoop. Nuff said. With all these new characters, each with their own personality and abilities, you might think they would make Sack Thing obsolete. Not so. Sack Thing, of course, has hands with fingers for grabbing on, pulling, and holding of stuff. He also has access to multiple gadgets and tools unlocked throughout the story, such as this hook helmet and these jet boots. They allow for some clever puzzles and fun traversal of levels. With the unlocking of new characters and gadgets in nearly every level, you're never found doing the same thing over and over again. Disappointingly, the story is very short, none of the mechanics really get their time to shine, and all of the characters only have one or two levels all to themselves. It is entertaining throughout, but there just isn't enough of it. However, many of Sack Thing's gadgets, once unlocked, can be used in any level. This allows you to replay levels and solve puzzles in quicker ways and even find new items and hidden areas only accessible through the use of items acquired later in the story. It's as though Little Big Planet 3 got a little Metroidvania thrown into the mix. Also, as it was in the past games, there are many puzzles which can only be done with multiple players. It's worthwhile and great fun to go back through with some assistance. With the story finished and a campaign's worth of items and materials found, you could get to work on creating your own levels, which is the core of the Little Big Planet experience. Hypothetically, you could create anything from a simple platformer to a multi-part RPG. It's all possible if you have the time, as the mechanics are very simple and easy to use, granted you learn how to use them first. There is a lot to take in at first glance. Beyond the simple placement of blocks, you could dabble in basic logic and AI programming. You're not messing with code here, but it can get pretty intimidating. Sumo Digital has realized this and taken a clever move to make the learning curve a bit less of a burden. With the new Poppet Academy, boring tutorials are replaced with levels which grant access to level creation tools in piecemeal. Almost as if it were a second campaign, there are numerous levels which use creation tools as puzzle mechanics and allow for an exploration of what's possible by having the player learn by doing, as opposed to listening. Of course, the true hurdle to interacting with this stuff is time. If you don't have any of it, you don't have to make levels. You can just play other people's levels and extend the lifetime of the game indefinitely. Many interesting player-created Little Big Planet 3 levels are already being published and are making great use of the new mechanics in a way unlike what you'll see in the story. Even if this wasn't so, every player-created level from Little Big Planet 1 and 2 are playable in 3, including Andar's very own published levels from a time long ago and forgotten. Freshman year of high school, as a matter of fact. You're getting 6 years of brilliant levels as soon as you pick up the game. It is profound. With that said, Little Big Planet 3 is an incredible package to have. It has practically infinite levels, intuitive level creation tools, and a fun, if short, story mode. I see no reason if you're a PS4 owner to avoid this game. <laughs>